Uh, all right, so we're, like I said, we're gonna start just a couple of minutes early with our closing remarks. Um, so first off, before we get into anything, a huge, huge round of applause for all of our speakers today. Jen, Meha, Chayton, Justin, Graham, Shreya, Gris, y'all knocked it out of the park today. What a kickoff to the Open Feature Summit series that we will see in the future. Um, you did the community proud and you should be super proud, especially for those who, who did their first talk at this? Who, who was this their first talk? There's a few people, so huge for the first talks. Um, so if you're out there and you're saying to yourself, I would love to see more open feature stuff, don't worry, there are more open feature talks that are gonna be happening as part of the main KubeCon event. Um, so tomorrow, Wednesday, November the 13th, there's gonna be Taming Your Applications Environment. Um, that's gonna be happening uh, in 250 AD, so same building, but different room, I think. Um, oh, it's actually this expanded room, I think. Um, and then on Friday, don't go home, change your flight. You don't really want to go home early on Friday. You want to stay to Saturday, maybe to next week, because you do not want to miss um, Pete's uh, session, Migratory Patterns, Marking Architectural Transitions with Confidence and Grace. I got that out all in one fell swoop. It is Friday at 4 o'clock in 255B, so you do not want to miss these. Um, also, if you're not sick of the open feature community yet, which you should never be because we're an awesome community, um, please drop by the open feature booth if you want to continue those conversations or get a selfie with the team. If you're wondering, that is me in that costume at KubeCon North America last year. Um, it's going to be in the project pavilion in the solution showcase near to the secondary entrance. Just look on the map. Look for the CNCF Project Pavilion and you will find open feature folks there. Who's going to be at the open feature booth? The people are looking for you. So anybody with their hands up is going to be at the booth. Go and say hello. Um, if you want to stay connected with us, um, here are the places to do it. We're on GitHub, YouTube, X, and LinkedIn. Um, or if you just want to go to our main site, check out openfeature.dev. Um, and I kind of want to finish off before we do sort of a reminder on the lunch announcement, just some call to actions for everybody. Um, so first off, join our community meetings. They're every other Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern time on Zoom. Um, you can always jump into our Slack on the CNCF Slack. Anything that starts with open feature is us. Join in. Um, contribute on GitHub. Star a repo, open an issue, submit a PR, anything you do is a great contribution. Um, and of course, follow us on all of the socials that you saw today. Um, last kind of kind of cool announcement thing here is uh, the 2025 Europe CNCF co-located events have been announced. They're going to be happening on uh, April the 1st. Um, CFP closes in December. And drum roll, please. We are going to be... Nobody did a drum roll. Let's try that one more time. I want this to be more exciting. Drum roll, please. There we go. We are going to be seeing the Open Feature Summit Europe 2025. Woo! That was weak. Let's try that one more time. We're going to be seeing the Open Feature Summit Europe 2025. Woo! Woo! There we go. Genuinely get excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, if you thought this was great, let's get a full day in Europe. Um, all right. So a reminder, there's an event reception tonight at 530. That's an official reception for this. And then there's also um, an event that's going on hosted by Signos and Growthbook. Um, and a reminder about lunch. Lunch is going to be out the hallway to the right, to the left, to the left, to the left down, the down the escalator. Follow the people that are walking towards food and you will be in the right place. Um, and there'll be signs and folks in these awesome blue shirts that'll be directing you to the right place. Perfect? Perfect. Awesome. So um, don't leave quite yet. Well, leave if you're not interested in learning about the awesome things that we've done this year. But uh, either way, I want to say thank you all so, so much for being here. You've made this very large room seem very small because you're just like filling it with your amazing talks, with your amazing questions, and just with your amazing selves. So thank you all for choosing to be here today. There's lots of places you could be and you chose to be here. Um, so from all of us at the Open Feature community to all of you, you're amazing and thank you and we'll see you in London. Thank you, Andrew. Woo!
Um, so like I said, I'm gonna steal a little bit more time as people are uh, going out just to do a little quick open feature snapshot. There's like six slides here. Um, so if you didn't know, open feature is now an incubating project in the CNCF. So that means we are coming for you, Kubernetes. Um, stay tuned. Um, and there's been some huge releases for the project in the last year. Um, so you can see a lot of faces in here that are on these blog posts. Um, our Angular SDK, .NET SDK 2, um, our multi-provider, React SDK, Observability Semantics, and our Web SDK are among just a few changes that are there. Um, but what I really want to highlight is the growth of the ecosystem. So we now, uh, we now support all of the technologies that are on the screen up here. Um, and there's more that are out there that are unofficially supported, um, which is really, really exciting. Um, and if you're wondering just how popular are these SDKs, I love hockey stick graphs. I think we all do. Um, and this is the hockey stick graph of the SDK downloads for some of our most popular SDKs. And if you look at that and that doesn't make you excited about what the future of open feature is going to be. I don't know who you are or what you're doing, but that is a freaking exciting graph. Shout out to Jonathan, um, one of the open feature governance committee members and, and my CTO um, for putting together that download graph. Um, but also just looking at like a more reasonable metric of like what the community is doing. This is our GitHub stars on our top four repositories. Um, people are starring our spec. Who stars a spec? But that's pretty fantastic. And so people are out there, they are looking at us and they are saving us for later. And I think that's a really, really brilliant thing that we're seeing in the greater CNCF community. Um, what's also great here is the ecosystem has expanded exponentially, maybe not exponentially, it's grown a lot. Um, I think when we started this year, there were far fewer of these, um, of these vendors and providers that are on here, but there's a huge representation of folks that are on here and more and more every day. For anytime anybody's building a feature flag management platform now, they're building open feature support, which is pretty fantastic. Um, and then, of course, we saw a lot of these adopters today, um, but you can see here our adopters, some big names on there, and so, so exciting that we have all of these folks that are using us at scale, and I think it just makes this entire work that we're doing so much more fantastic. Um, I just wanted to call out some little highlights here. These are all YouTube videos that just random people have made about Open Feature over the last little while. Um, we got an amazing, like this was a, like last month or earlier this month, we had a great Open Feature, Hacker News, lots of feedback and comments and upvoting there, like 194 points. We were on the front page for a significant amount of time, which I think is really, really cool as well. Um, and then, of course, lots of community stuff that we've been doing, um, highlighting some of our community contributors like Max and Andre, um, our feature flag super stream, which a lot of folks were here. If you're interested in hearing from every single feature flag management platform that's out there, go watch this stream. It's like an hour and a half, and it's everybody represented there. Um, and uh, yeah, that's a very quick snapshot of the open feature community. So thank you all for making that happen. Thank you for being here at Open Feature Summit North America, and we'll see you in London, everybody.